Yeah, hi Virginia, thanks for having you here. Um, you are here with uh, C-B-E-J-U. Maybe first tell us what does that actually mean? So as always, we love acronym, but what we actually spell out is circular, bio-based Europe joint undertaking. What is the joint standing for? It means together. And really the, the words mean uh, in this, uh, in this uh, title that we gave to our uh, initiative. We do together with the European Commission and uh, the private sector what we need to do here in the bio-base uh, uh, yeah. application and sector. And uh, since you mentioned circular, I think uh, since I'm coming from the circular economy space, uh, it's also a very important aspect that circular only works in uh, collaboration and, and together, right? But actually, circular was a word that we decided to insert in our title to explain the importance of not thinking linear, yeah. but to think already from the concept of anything that will be developed in our project in a circular way. So we want that uh, the product and the solution developed via this uh, granting project will be circular, sustainable, and will be based on bio bio resources that are renewable and sustainable. So uh, you already mentioned, uh, what are you actually doing? You're supporting projects, right? So in fact, we are one of the implementing body of the framework program for research and innovation of the European Union. So in the context of Horizon Europe, certain specific body that are the joint undertaking, public private partnership have been created. And one of that was specifically in the bio-based sector, which is the CBJ. And next to this activity, which is professional, do you have also some personal passion for the bioeconomy? Absolutely, yes. Actually, my start, my initial study were in natural science and I have a PhD in ecology. Wow. So it started really when I, my mother said I was four years old when I started to do my experiment on seeing how from seeds plants were growing. So I really believe it starts from, from myself. I worked for many, many years in another sector, in the space research sector for the Union. So after many years in space, I've been back on Earth since four years. And I'm really um, happy to be part of this transformation in Europe. And um, you mentioned uh, you're working on many projects. So from your experience, now we are here at, a, at an event that drives or tries to support also the scaling of bioeconomy solutions. From your experience, where do you see currently the challenges when it comes to industrializing bioeconomy solutions uh, and driving the scale of them? So we exactly work in this part of the chain. So we try to de-risk uh, the investment. That's one of the key fe features. Still a big problem, especially for small SME, to go to investors, go to banks, and demonstrate that they can make it. So that is where we step in. Via our grants, we have many examples of successful SME that managed to attract the investment needed because they first were granted our project and they started the building up of the biorefinery. So one of the still very important problems when the technology is demonstrated and you want to scale up is to demonstrate that this can fly at industrial scale and commercial scale and that the risking is still an important factor to do not underestimate especially for small SME. And uh, when you do mean de-risking it's also making it safer for the big industry players to jump on that or how, Actually, how would is both uh, when I speak about the risking it means that don't have the perception that this is a risky sector wow. so demonstrate that you can make it and you demonstrate that you can produce at industrial scale while you develop the market at the same time yeah. so this is clearly for banks for funds for venture capitalists but we also know the big part of the investment needed to scale up really at a commercial scale need to come also also for big players that are currently in the petrochemical, for example, and they can buy in and mobilize the type of capitals we will need to have a real production at commercial scale of many of the bio-based products we are developing in Europe. And how do you see the role of policy? Is this the first step or is this a supporting step or does it have to go hand in hand with the industrial developments? 
I think it does, uh, it plays a role in all the three steps uh, you mentioned because uh, it is the starting. With the Green Deal, we saw that this was really a boost. Uh, of uh, especially of the bio-based industry because it is was I always say we are one of the tools to make the green deal real so that's the big policy at the same time policy need to accompany so we we upscale we we invest in research and innovation but then when we go to market the regulatory framework have to be ensured that we have a level playing field that we can compete especially with products that come from other part of the globe and this there the policy again can really play a huge impact in ensuring that european can compete fairly especially if we want to boost products that are sustainable and are circular that sometimes are more costly yeah, of course <laughs> and uh, what brings you to the event here to world biomarkets well it brings first of all this is an event where i personally will have the opportunity to meet many stakeholders in this field it's the first time i'm coming so i'm really looking forward and i'm already impressed by the concept of putting together the producers of the solution with the users of this solution and i think that's really the, the 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 factor on which we need to work even more because at the end we need to ensure to have a market and so the users of all the bio-based solution that we are, the, our project are trying to develop are here so many big brands and i really believe that if they buy in this revolution can become real and also in a short time and not waiting too long. And uh, the special thing about uh, this event is also these one-to-one -one meetings that you have pre-arranged. Did your calendar explode already as well? Do you have a lot of meetings arranged? I have a lot of meetings. Actually, I was trying to juggle between uh, the, the presentation in the main room and the bilaterals. And, but I think it's the added value because, uh, as I said, I'm here because I want to take the opportunity to meet those uh, uh, stakeholders I didn't know yet. So networking uh, is one of the core objectives, I believe, of this event. So don't mind to juggle uh, from, or jump from one meeting to another. <laughs> so great that we still could uh, find you uh, in between all these different meetings and find some minutes. Um, and. Uh, Happy to learn more after the event, how successful it was for you. Thanks a lot for taking the time. Thanks a lot for inviting. <laughs>